What is up, you guys? This is Mini Superheroes Today. Hey guys, today we'll be rewinding to the year 2008 to take a look at the classic, very rare Lego Batman set 7888 The Tumbler, Joker's Ice Cream Surprise. Now this is loosely based off of the Dark Knight film, namely with the Batman minifigure and the Tumbler itself, and it was only available for about six months from June to December of 2008. So on top of the fact that this was the first ever Lego Tumbler, the first ever Lego Dark Knight tie-in, and the fact that it was only available for a limited window, it's made this set legendary and very rare. In fact, even though it only retailed for $50 back in the day, today you're looking at the upwards of $250 to get this used, all the way up to $600 to get it brand new in the box. Now it did come with three minifigures and 449 pieces, and in today's video, we'll be taking a look back to see how it's held up over the years. Back in 2008, this was the set to have. In fact, I remember getting this and being so excited, and a kid in the neighborhood actually stole my Joker minifigure, but that may be a story for another time. Anyways, be sure to hit like and subscribe down below, and let's get into the review. Up first, we got this just super random Joker goon. I always liked getting goons in the LEGO DC sets. It's something that they don't give us very often anymore. Well, heck, we barely even get LEGO DC sets anymore. But I do think it's cool to have one extra bad guy for Batman to fight. This one's pretty plain with gray legs and a purple torso, but the guns were pretty cool. The head definitely looked fitting, and the beanie cap brought it all together. This is the original Batman from The Dark Knight. Now, of course, this figure is pretty old at this point, but it has held up pretty well over the years. He didn't have any leg printing, but the torso printing was pretty detailed in its own right with a little reflective silver in the torso there. And of course, the head and cowl were the same as all of the Batmans from back then. Uh, it was single-sided, so we didn't get an alternate expression, and I do think that it really looked good for the era, and it has aged phenomenally, if I do say so myself. And finally, we have the Joker. Now, despite this set being based off of the Dark Knight, this Joker was just the classic comic book Joker, which I don't really mind because back in the day, I didn't have the classic Joker. And you have to remember, if you weren't around, there was a lot of controversy around how violent the Joker was in this movie. A lot of people loved Heath Ledger's performance, don't get me wrong, but making a kid's toy of that character at the time definitely was a little bit controversial. So I understand why Lego just gave us a classic Joker. He also came with a toxic ice cream piece, of which we got two in this set, and he had a bang gun here, which unfortunately broke, and this one is super glued back together just to show you what it looks like, but yeah, it's pretty cool. We also got a couple accessories, like these U-shaped um, handcuffs, which of course just go over the minifigure's hands. We got an extra batarang for Batman, and we also got these batarangs. Now, I don't really know what these were supposed to be used for. The instructions never made it super clear, so if anybody knows in the comments, let me know. But let's start reviewing the set now that we've got through the minifigs. So we'll start with the Joker's ice cream van. I don't want to call them Easter eggs, but all of the stickers have just some really good cheeky designs, like the Uncle Joker's ice cream surprise on the side with the two ice cream cones that the set actually comes with. Of course, the little siren on the side here that would play the ice cream truck music is pretty cool. Then, of course, we've got a big ice cream cone on the top, which actually does have a play feature, which we'll look at here shortly. We've got the Uncle Joker's ice cream surprise logo on the, tor on the uh, top once again. Can you tell I do a lot of minifigs videos? <laughs> Anyways, the Joker goon sits right inside and drives. Then we've got the little uh, pouch here that says Venom. Uh, obviously, this is not the most safe ice cream truck ever. We've also got these bars on the side for the Joker to hold on to, which I think is definitely cool for, like, the comic book, uh, you know, trope of seeing the Joker, like, hanging off of vehicles or whatever. I really like the white design with the green trim. That's quite cool, too. On the back, we've got three stickers here, an I Heart Gotham sticker, a license plate that says Ice Cream, get it? Ice Cream, Ice Cream. Then we've got three ice creams here. So we've got the Soda Smilex Popsicle, we've got the Old Fashioned Venom Flavor, and the Rigor Mortis Soft Ice. Definitely a little, uh grotesque there, but it all makes sense for the Joker. Then, of course, we can use these doors 
the little handles here to open them up and see a giant missile that comes out of the back. And the missile is launched by pushing the ice cream on top forward. So there you go, when the missile comes out, I didn't want to shoot it out across the room and lose the missile, but that's what the back looks like opened up. Then of course you just reload the missile, close the doors, and you're ready for action to fight against Batman once again. And finally, we have the Tumbler. Now this thing is an absolutely massive tank. Compared to the most recent Tumbler at minifigure scale we got, check out the size difference. I mean, it's night and day. I honestly don't know which one I like better because I have so much nostalgia for this one that I don't want to pretend like that's not a factor, but I do like the bigger tank version, um, even if the newer one was cooler with like the interior detail being a little better. Let me lift it up so we can see those side by side. Uh, even the price point being slightly better. I just, I don't know. I, there's something about this old one that really uh, gets me more excited. And I don't know if it's nostalgia, the larger size of the tank, or what it could be. But I do love this set. Now, just like the Joker, this also has a missile that comes out of the back. It kind of swivels on a Technic pin. And you just push this pin back, and the missile shoots out just like that. Other than that, the only other play features are these flick fire missiles on the side, which are kind of hard to access because of the little wings right here. But the giant tires are super cool. We do have some stickers all around. It appears to be missing a sticker here. It should be over there, I guess. But, oh, maybe they put it on wrong. Yeah, I guess it's just missing one. That's what you get when you buy used sets. Anyways, you can lift it up and see that there's area to put two minifigures. Of course, Batman goes on this side with the steering wheel. There's a nice little sticker piece right there that has some extra controls. And overall, it's very roomy on the inside, and I quite like that for this uh, build. Now, of course, the yellow kind of harkens back to classic Batman, black and yellow. But in the Dark Knight universe, the interior definitely was not yellow. So it is a bit of a bummer that it's kind of comic booky in that sense. But again, you have to remember that this was like a very, very loose tie-in with the Dark Knight. Basically, the minifigure in the Tumblr itself were based on the movie, and everything else was just kind of some fun that LEGO was having with the design. So it's a very, very solid build. I can't tell you how many hours I spent playing with this as a kid in the summer of 2008, and it's pretty darn cool to hold it once again. So now that we've reviewed it, let's zoom out, and I'll give you my final thoughts on this classic Batman set. All right, guys. Well, making this video was like reliving the summer of 2008 for me. I remember this set so vividly. I had so many adventures with it, and now I got to have one more adventure reviewing it here with you guys. Be sure to drop a comment and let me know what you think of this set. Let me know how you think it aged, and be sure to hit like and subscribe if you haven't already. Until next time, build on. Well, you made it to the end of the video. Thanks for hanging out with me today, and don't forget to hit like and subscribe, and maybe check out one of my other videos listed here.